So, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golf wing and streetwear. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the full preview of golf wings winter 2020 season. If you did check out my video I posted yesterday when I did a review of the lookbook, golf didn't actually have the entire preview posted on their website yet. So I had to actually go on Instagram and look at the pictures of the lookbook there. I still knew that golf was going to be uploading that preview very soon. And as all of you know, in those previews, there's a lot of pieces that we haven't seen before in different colorways and things like that. So I wanted to make an updated video showing you guys my reaction to the end entire preview but i'm not gonna take up any more of your time guys i'm really excited to share my thoughts on this preview so let's get straight into it and switching to view here we have the website pulled up and let's go ahead and pull up the preview and starting up here in the top we have the two new plaid puffer jackets and just like i was talking about in my last video i was sure that we we're going to see some more colorways of this piece and we did we didn't see quite as many as i thought we were going to i thought we we're going to see two or three variations of this jacket but we only got two colorways we got the green one that we've all seen in the lookbook photos that a lot of people were really excited about it's a piece that i'm really a big fan of but we also have this pink colorway that i'm not as big of a fan of i'm not feeling it as much as the dark green one but we've also got some other pieces plastered throughout the preview that incorporate plaid into colorways as well and like we have like a light blue one on a hat that i'll talk about a little bit later and then we have the navy one that i believe is also on a hat but i know for sure it's on one of those uh puffer vests that i thought would have looked pretty cool on one of these puffers too so while i do really enjoy this dark green plaid puffer and like i said yesterday and like i said yesterday this still remains my favorite colorway of all of the plaid pieces his, although I do like the other two, I'm just not crazy about this pink one. And then moving on from that, we have these two biker jackets. I'm not sure exactly if that's what they're called, but that's really like, that's just kind of what I would imagine stereotypically that I would see a biker wearing. That's just kind of what I'm going to nickname it. Um, I've already shared my thoughts on that first colorway. I think it's really solid. You can really never go wrong with black and white. But then over here, we kind of have this maroonish with pink colorway that I think I'm more of a fan of. Historically, I've always been a fan of brighter colors and seeing this jacket in a brighter colorway is no exception to that. But like I said, I'm just not crazy about leather jackets or pants or hats or anything. The only thing I really feel comfortable wearing that's leather is like shoes. So, you know, I'm not crazy about leather, but that's not anything against the piece, I don't guess. The actual colorways, design, and style of the jackets I'm a fan of. It's just the leather that really throws me off. And moving on from that, we have the two uh, fleece items. I already shared my thoughts on this one right here. As you all know, I was a big fan of that. I thought the colorway looked really good together, but we also have this colorway here that is very similar to one of the vests we also saw. And I gotta say, I like this one a lot as well. Um, This kind of tan fleece colorway is like a really common colorway on fleece. A lot of brands have this as kind of one of their mainstays of their fleece collections, but golf really kind of puts their own spin on it with the lavender hits, which I think is nice because it'll make this specific jacket stand out. And like I said yesterday, an already an array of fleece heavy items from a bunch of other fashion brands. So I think the lavender was a nice touch on that. I'm a huge fan of this colorway as well. And moving on from that, we have these two smiley work jackets and we have a classic denim look. And then we have the forest green look, which I'm already sharing my thoughts on. I'm a big fan of it. I like the style of jackets. I like the shade of green, but with with this new one on the classic denim look, you know, I'm, I've never really been too, too crazy about a classic denim look. I'm sure if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you know, I do indeed own a denim jacket and I love that jacket. But when it comes to denim, whether it be jackets or pants, I'm, I'm super picky about jeans. And this jacket really isn't bad, but I would have liked it to be a little bit more bleach, so a bit more of a brighter color. And I think this also would have been really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen any jackets this style before, but more traditionally, they come with like dark brown collars. And I think the white collar is great on the dark green colorway of this but I think this raw denim one would have looked better with that classic dark brown collar moving on from that we have these two jackets here that I'm not I'm not really sure what to make of them right now you know I can't really tell kind of what the pattern is that's going on on the jacket I, I think it might just be stripes or something but I'm not sure um, I'm sure there's some sort of design on the back of it and I guess I'm really gonna have to hold my thoughts off on this piece until we see exactly what design is on the back of these jackets I will go ahead and say upon on first look these jackets do need a little something more for me so a good design on the back of this could either make or break this piece for me but i'm gonna have to wait until we get some more pictures of these jackets a little later on before i completely form my opinion about them just because i don't have that much to work off of right now moving on from that we have these two puffer jacket vests and a lot of people pointed this out but this vest is actually reversible so on the flip side of 
of this vest, you have that, um, hold on a second, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is actually the opposite side of those vests. It is just the classic um, either dark green or navy colorway with the Golf Blocks logo. So yeah, that's a reversible piece. So technically on the reverse side of this jacket, we have the Golf Blocks logo. I don't know if you would technically consider this side the reverse side of the jacket or the opposite side, because this side doesn't have any logos or anything. But I would say most people, including myself, are probably gonna prefer this on the regular side with just the classic logo on it. I do really like the vest, but I'm only really crazy about the side that is just one color with the logo on it. Moving on from that, we have some fleece fisherman vests. And Goff has been giving us a lot of these vests recently. Starting in summer 19, we had the Lafleur utility vest, and then we had the Safari vest, and now we got these. So we've been seeing a lot of these from Golf recently. And you know, I gotta say, um, you know, I did already talk about it. I did buy the Safari vest, and I'm having kind of buyer's remorse about that. Um, I'm not really as crazy about it as I was when I purchased it. But I do gotta say, I like both of these better than the Safari vest. I think these are gonna be a bit more popular. And I gotta say, um, I do like it better than last year's. I love fleece, and I love both of the colorways that they picked for this. Moving on from that, we have the striped Romeo cardigan, and I've already shared my thoughts on this one in yesterday's video. Big fan of that, but a lot of people pointed out that it does look eerily similar to a Supreme cardigan that they did in the past. And uh, now that somebody's mentioned it, I can't unsee it. It does look almost identical, except for the golf logo of that Supreme cardigan, but still a really, really solid piece. And I'm probably gonna say something that's gonna be a bit of an unpopular opinion here, but I actually like this colorway better than the pink one. I think that kind of off-white and the navy blue just look look amazing and then you got the light blue Romeo logo on the chest moving on from that we have the two lasso sweaters but you know I didn't say too too much about these in yesterday's video I did say I liked them and I gotta say my opinion has changed slightly on them I still didn't like love the piece when I saw it in the first lookbook but I've kind of started liking it a little bit less after we saw these preview images of it uh, another thing is someone commented on the last video I'm sorry I can't think of your name right now but uh, they commented that the lasso here on the back side of the O kind of looks like an egg and um, I just cannot unsee that now. Every time I look at this sweater, I just see Galf. So yeah, I'm not crazy about these pieces. Moving on from that, we have these two button down style pieces. And um, we actually have seen this mint and dark green one before this preview and before the lookbook. In the promotional photo, the model was wearing the unreleased Lafleur hat with the new Gianos and a pair of the golf pants that dropped last season. And I'm 90% sure that he was wearing this button down. And I gotta say, you know, I really, really enjoyed it when I saw it in that photo photo and I still don't hate this piece now I still think it's a solid piece I'm just not feeling the kind of race checkered patch um, above the chest here I really love this golf logo and I love the colors on both of them but this has kind of thrown me off of it a little bit if this wasn't on it I definitely would like it more but you know still neither of them are awful pieces I love that golf design and I love the colorways like I said so you know still not a bad piece really and then moving on from that we kind of have some regular style jackets with the plaid colorways and uh, if you remember in the beginning of the video I said we saw a light blue plaid colorway that I thought would have looked cool on a puffer jacket and that is this light blue plaid colorway right here I definitely like this light blue colorway more than the pink colorway but the dark green is still my favorite moving on from that we have some two long sleeves I'm loving the colors on this light blue the only golf branding um, I'm assuming that we're gonna have is this little golf logo down here on the bottom of the sweatshirt that is a design that was first introduced I think in winter 18 and they're incorporating that a little bit here and I'm not really Really filling this orange one over here and on pieces like this the colorway is really what comes to the front of everything and you know if you don't like the colorway on a piece like this it's kind of like you're just not gonna like the piece at all so for me I'm really liking the dark green light blue one not crazy about this one moving on from that we have the toucan button up somebody also commented that once again having a brain fart I can't remember all his names but somebody also commented and told me that was a toucan and like I said this is a really dope piece I praise them all the time for this but golf really you know always knocks out the park with these button ups this is another really cool one Next to that, we have kind of a cut and sew t-shirt. It looks like it has golf wing with the smiley logo next to it written all over the t-shirt. This t-shirt is a little much for me personally. I don't think I would ever see myself wearing this, so I'm not really feeling this too much. I know there's probably gonna be a certain demographic of people that are gonna be into this because a lot of people like these solid t-shirts. They're just not for me. Moving on from that, we have the corduroy cargo pants. And uh, I'm gonna come out the gate saying I really love these pants. I don't see any golf branding on them right now, but I'm sure that we have some, whether it be on the back pockets or 
are down on the cargo pockets. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of branding on these. I just can't tell what it is right now, but I love corduroy. I love cargo pants and they have merged the two together really well. I do got to say they did great on the colorways. Coming up next, we got some more golf jeans and it comes in this black colorway as well as this military green colorway over here. I really don't have too much to say right now about this black pair. It's really just a black pair of jeans. I'm sure there's some sort of design on it, but I'm gonna have to wait and see what design we have before I can really share my thoughts on that one. But when it comes to this military green pair over here, I will say that I love the color they picked for this. I've always kind of loved these like military greens and like earth tones and things like that. Once again, I'm gonna have to wait and share my thoughts, you know, fully on the piece until I see what design we have on them. Moving on from that, we have two more pairs of jeans and these jeans have the golf lasso logo on the right pocket. And you know, I'm not really crazy about these. I'm not gonna lie. And it's really the lasso logo that does it for me. You know, I'm just really not crazy about that logo. Obviously you can never go wrong with light wash denim pants. And if you can pull these yellow pants off, I'm sure that there's some cool fits you could pull off with these. So, you know, it's really nothing against the colorways. It's really just that design that I'm not feeling. Moving on from that, we have the Sherpa athletic pants, which I'm gonna sound like a dead horse, but I'm not crazy about these style of pants. I may, you know, one day my style might get to the point where I would wear pants like this, but I'm just not there right now. When it comes to the colorways, I've already shown my colorways on the jackets. I love the jackets, but just because I'm not a fan of athletic pants, I'm not really crazy about these. But if that is your style, then I'm sure that these would be a really dope pickup for you. All right, and moving on from that, we are getting into the screen printed items section, starting out with this golf snowboard logo. I'm only calling it that because later on, you'll see they threw it on some snowboarding items. I will come out the gate saying I don't hate this logo. I'm enjoying the colorway on this yellow hoodie here, as well as the navy one. I'm not really feeling this one right here too much, but I am liking both of these. Moving on from that, we have some hoodies with you know, something that's once again, kind of hard to make out. But it looks like we got three, like your babies and a marching band or something, which, um, you know, all first impressions, I'm not really feeling this one that much. I like the colorways they picked on this lavender one and this light blue one down here, but I'm just not feeling the design that much. Moving on from that, we have this magic design and I'm only calling it that because you got the magic wand and the hat and everything. You know, I like this one. I used to love magic a lot as a kid, so I'm kind of partial to this for that. But, you know, also really dope colorways on this as well. Moving on from that, we have some zip up hoodies in a heather gray colorway, yellow and dark green colorway. Uh, you know, I kind of like these as well. I think the colorways are dope. I don't like the yellow one, but you know, do be warned. I don't like yellow that much, you know, just in general. The dark green, of course, is my favorite. I think there's a lot of stuff you can do with these zip up style hoodies. And it's really cool to see golf, you know, kind of venturing out from just, you know, regular hoodies and doing something different with these. So that's really dope to see. Moving on from that, we have the design that I'm nicknaming the golf airline logo because it reminds me a lot of those logos you would see on side of an airplane. I like this one. I know it's very simple, but it's kind of got a vintage feel to it. And I think they picked really good colorways on these crew necks for this. I love dark brown. I love dark green and I love red in certain instances. And I really like that shade. So I am feeling those. Up next, we have what seems to be some little like drawn demon looking thing carrying what looks to be the top of the cap, like the Capitol building or some sort of government building. I'm not feeling this one. It looks very like skater-ish, which, you know, I'm sure probably is the point because they put it on some decks later down in the preview. But you know, I've never been into kind of that style of graphics. So I'm not too, too crazy about this one either. Moving on from that, we kind of have this little star design. It is a pretty simple one. It's gonna be pretty easy for people to pull this one off. I'm really liking uh, this pink one better, I think. It's kind of a tacky colorway, but in a weird way, that's what I like about it. Overall, I'm not hating that one, but it's not my favorite either. I am still gonna share my thoughts on the t-shirts, of course, but for the most part, the graphics are gonna stay the same. And I do think golf has kind of shifted their focus away from these screen printed hoodies and t-shirts and started focusing a lot more on cut and sew pieces, oh, which is great for me because that's what I prefer. But a lot of people are like really, really into graphics and I feel like they're paying less and less attention to the graphics that they use, which like I said, doesn't bother me because I come to golf for their cut and sew pieces anyway. Any cut and sew piece and hats are like my favorite thing golf does. Uh, come on below and let me know your thoughts on that guys. I've kind of noticed that in these more recent seasons. But anyways, moving on from that, we have the airline logo on a couple of t-shirts here. Really solid. I'm liking this white one. I've always liked white t-shirts. Whenever I do buy graphic t-shirts, I like it to be something simple like this. I think the golf wing in the middle with the colors going down the side are a really nice touch to a nice white tee. Nice colorways on the navy blue and kind of heather gray as well. Moving on from that, we got the snowboarding logo on three t-shirts. Once again, I'm not hating this logo. I personally like this logo the most on the actual snowboarding items themselves rather than on the hoodies and t-shirts. I think it looks really good, but I think it looks the best on those items. And moving on from that, we once again have these baby marching tees on some more t-shirts. Um, once again, I'm not feeling this graphic too 
much, but I like the colorways they did. And uh, moving on from that, we got the pin is mightier than the sword t-shirt. And um, a lot of people have been clowning on this tee and kind of justifiably so. I mean, it's definitely meant to be like a gag t-shirt. Like they know what they were doing, but uh, I know that there's some sort of history to a degree with this specific design. I don't know what it is. To be honest, most people aren't gonna know what it is. They're probably just gonna see this and be like, wow, that's kind of a dumb t-shirt. And uh, it is a dumb t-shirt, but I'm sure they meant for it to be a dumb t-shirt. But either way, I'm not really feeling it too much. Not a lot of people are feeling it. Moving on from that, we have this fist that has some brass knuckles on it, spelling out golf. And I gotta say, I'm liking this t-shirt. Um, it's not anything crazy. To be fair, none of the t-shirts are in my opinion, but still not that bad. Moving on from that, we got the golf lasso design on some t-shirts. I've already shared my thoughts on that. You all know I'm not crazy about that one and nothing's really changed with these t-shirts here. Moving on from that, we have the lollipop tees. Say I like this one as well. I feel like this is gonna be one of the more popular tees. Uh, when it comes to t-shirts, I've seen more people saying they enjoy this tee than a lot of the other tees that we've seen. And I definitely see why it is a really cool design. And just like the brass knuckle tee, I gotta say it's up there with some of my favorite designs we've seen on these t-shirts. Moving on from that, we got some t-shirts with this girl on it. It says golf. I don't know what it says under golf on that little speech bubble right there. This is not something that I would ever wear, but if you think you could pull this off, then I mean, hey, go for it. Up next, we have the golf star logo on a couple of t-shirts here. Once again, nothing has really changed here. This is a really simple logo, but I'm not hating it, hating it. Up next, we have the magician design, which is once again, not a design that I hate. And then finishing out, we have this looks kind of like a Celtic or something kind of style of riding golf tee. I'm gonna have to let that sit for a minute before I really make my mind up on that one. But moving on from that, getting into the hats now, we have the golf airline hats. And I will say the first thing I noticed that I loved about these hats were the shape. I don't know what style of hat this is. I don't know if it's a snapback or a leather strapback or whatever. Also really like the shades they used on this pink and navy blue one here. Moving on from that, we have the golf Romeo truckers. And I do like all three of these. You all know, I love me the golf Romeo design and I don't wear them a lot, but I do like trucker hats and I like all three of these. So really nice hats here. I do like the placement of the logo. I hope they don't pull anything like they did the race man hoodie last season where they change it up afterwards or whatever. I really like the way it's placed on these. And oh, uh, we didn't get any G hats this season, but we do have some golf camp hats in the plaid colorways. We got the light blue, the dark green, and the navy. Gotta say, once again, dark green is my favorite. I personally like these camp hats. Uh, when it comes to the whole camp hat versus G hat thing, I've always had a preference towards the G hats. But I gotta say, these plaid ones are up there with some of my favorite camp hats that we've seen. I really like these. And then finishing that out, we have some golf beanies. And you know, these aren't bad. I like the colorways of them. Pretty simple logo. And I gotta say, overall, guys, I think golf did pretty good with the hats this season. In my opinion, for the most part, you guys know I say I come to golf for hats. But outside of G hats, I'm really picky about my golf hats. Although whenever they do have a hat that I like, I pretty much love it. You know, I gotta say, overall, I think they did good with the hats this season. So props to them for that. Moving on from that, we have that airline design on some socks. And I know, I'm sorry you guys hear this stuff all the time, but you know, I don't, I'm not crazy about paying money for golf socks. I think streetwear as a whole, socks are just overpriced. But uh, you know, this airline design, I like it. I like the colorways they picked, still not bad overall. My favorite socks this season, however, are the next socks that we have, and that are these like kind of color block socks. Uh, you know, I gotta say these are really dope. And if you have an outfit that can really mesh well with the color palette on these socks, they can add a lot to a fit. So I think that's cool to see. Hopefully they'll do something similar with a couple more colorways with that in the future. I think those are cool. Up next, we have that kind of demon design on some socks. Not crazy about that design. Although I do really like this shade of yellow and brown they used here. Those are really cool colorways that they picked for this. Up next, we have a golf logo that kind of looks a lot like the Rockstar logo. That's what it reminded me a lot of. I'm not too, too crazy about the colorways they picked for this. I don't like black socks. I've never been a fan of black socks unless I'm like wearing a suit, which is extremely, extremely rare. And I'm not really feeling this dark, almost maroonish shade of red. I've never really been a fan of that either. When I like red, I want it to be kind of bright. Moving on from that, we have a silver version of the golf Cupid necklace. And I think it's cool that they're remaking the jewelry and silver colorways. I've never really been a silver jewelry kind of guy. I always like to wear gold jewelry. But for those people who do like silver jewelry, I think it's cool that they're updating the colorways here. Moving on from that, we got the decks and we got this golf airline logo. I like that they went with kind of an off white instead of a pure white on this one. I don't really skate that much. I ride bikes a lot more than I skate just because I live around a lot more nature. So it's much easier for me to go bike than it is to skate. So I don't know how good golf boards are because I've never like skated one or anything. Both of these designs are really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the lollipop one as well. I like both of them. I think they're really cool. 
My personal favorite out of the two is the airline one. And moving on from that, we have that design that I'm really not crazy about, that kind of like monster doodle. Not really feeling this. I don't like the colorway they picked for this one either. And then we got something that's actually really cool. We got this golf lamp here. This is really, really dope. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at this depending on the price of it here. It's probably going to be more than I'm willing to pay, but I'm still really eyeing this. I don't ever really feel too comfortable paying an astronomical price for mundane items like the markers from last season or the toothbrush from this season or this lamp. But the lamp is really cool and it's perfect for my desk and would actually help a lot with, you know, my schoolwork and stuff. So I'm looking at that. Really cool. All right, moving on here to the smiley clock. This is another one that I was a really big fan of. I think of the accessories that we have, these two are actually my favorite. This one I'm liking a little bit more, but I know I'm not going to be willing to spend the price on it because I don't really need it. Coming up next, we got this golf jar. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it, but you know what this reminds me of. But, uh, you know, jokes aside, I'm not really feeling this either. And then we got this golf girl design on the mug that I'm really not hating, but I don't really drink coffee or anything like that. So I don't really have a need to get a mug. And then we have also got that same design on a white mug, which is also not bad. You can never really go wrong with the light blue and white mug. Although I will say a lot of times if you drink like coffee or a lot of tea, it stains mugs really easily, at least from my experiences. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But I've always just due to past experiences, tried to steer clear of white mugs. Up next, we got these smiley coasters, which is another thing that's really cool. Um, a lot of times when I drink anything, I use like cups like this that don't really like sweat or anything on tables. So it doesn't really leave that ring. So I never really have a need for coasters. So I'm not personally going to be picking these up. Love the smiley logo though. That is really cool that they did that. Coming up next, we got another golf license plate. They dropped one in winter 2019 that was a pretty big hit. So they're coming back with another one that I actually like. I got to say I like the first one more, but this one is still solid. I I do have a car obviously so I may 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 be interested in picking this up but I'm you know I'm not sure um once again I'm not really crazy about spending uh you know extra money on everyday items like this but this is still really cool coming up next we kind of got that rock star looking logo on a couple of lighters and I gotta say I'm liking this colorway on the lighter better than I was on the socks I also like this black colorway as well I like both of these I don't smoke so I don't really have a need for a lighter like that but uh you know still overall pretty cool oh and uh it looks like we also have an orange and light blue colorway as well together i think those look pretty well together overall and then coming up next we have some golf toothbrushes which i kind of knew it was only a matter of time before we saw something like this video i'm not about spending you know the extra markup price that these are going to have for like literally just a toothbrush not personally for me moving on from that we have some golf box cutters a lot of people weren't sure what this was i noticed but these are actually box cutters these are actually pretty cool i'm not gonna lie as far as accessories go um i like this one i like the desk lamp and i like the clock the best they try to sell a knife before but california has weird laws where if you make it too big it's considered a weapon and then you have to have a special permit to sell it and it's a whole thing hopefully these aren't too big to be considered a weapon to sell because this would be pretty cool you know whenever i do unboxing videos or something to do an unboxing with one of these coming up next we got the golf lasso logo on a keychain not crazy about the golf lasso logo so my opinion still stands about that and then finishing it out we have the golf snowboarding items which i thought was really dope now i said i like this design the best on the snowboarding items and um, I really do I think it fits these the best I don't personally go snowboarding or live anywhere near any place that I can go snowboarding so I'm not going to be picking this up but do believe if I did go snowboarding a lot I would most definitely be getting those goggles I think those are really really cool um yeah guys that's gonna do it for everything that we have saw in the preview come on below and let me know your thoughts on this season do you love it do you hate it are you somewhere in the middle as always if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward but that'll do it for this video guys Thanks so much for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next one.